Hey everyone, today during our class we will be revisiting fraction addition with different denominators once again. Okay, we will consider the fraction 5 6 added to 3 8 to solve the given mathematical expression. One more time, we need the denominators to be the same. However, the number 6 is not equal to 8, so we need to align them. Therefore, what actions do we need to take? We must locate the least common denominators. Specifically, we need to find the common denominators for the numbers 6 and 8. So, what is our next step? We are currently in the process of searching for numbers that are multiples of 6, and that will be a total of 6 items, starting with 12, then moving to 18, 24, 30, and so on, continuing in increments of 6. Now we are going to find a multiple for the number 8. And these are the numbers 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40, and so on. And now what do we do? We saw that there is the number 24 here. And in this case, the number 24 is the least common multiple or the least common denominator. So now let's go back to our fractions and turn them into a fraction with a denominator of 24. I am taking the initial fraction, which is 5 sixths. I must ensure that the denominator is the numeral 24. Once again, guys, this is the number 24. This is the number 24. So I need 24. What should I do if I multiply 6 by what should I multiply by 4? If you multiply by 4, it will be 24. But if I multiply the bottom by 4, then here I should also multiply the numerator. And then I get 20. 20. Twenty-fourth. Instead of 5, 6, I'll write 20, 24. Following that, in addition. At this moment, 3 out of 8, 3 out of 8. I require the denominator to be the value of 24. Once again, gentlemen, why 24? Because we discovered that number, that is 24. I multiply 8 by 3. If you multiply 8 by 3, you'll get 24. Then I perform multiplication by multiplying 3 with 3. These numbers in this spot should be the same and unchanged. Same numbers, it's going to be 9.24. Let's write it down. And then I conclude with a total of 20. I resolve 24 and 24 in the denominator. And in the numerator, the sum of 20 and 9 will be 29. However, that is a fraction that is not in proper form. In order to make it easier to understand, you have the option to convert it into a mixed number. I will make a note of it that is 1.524. And that will be our response. I can perform the same action when I subtract numbers. So, subtracting 3 eighths from 5 sixths gives us 20 24 And subtracting 3 eighths from 20 24 gives us 9 24 we have already done this calculation with you, and the final result is 9 24. And as a result, we have 24, we correct it and subtract 9 from 20, which will be 11. And that will be our answer. At the next class, we'll teach you how to add mixed numbers. And that's it for today. Goodbye, until we meet again.